Oh, hello. How we doing? It's your boy coming at you with the uh, with your boy's stream. Mhm. Mm how's how's it hanging? It's it's your boy. I'm here. <laughs> That's Freddy. I uh, oh. Whew. I've been um, having an itchy throat since uh, since I was sick. If you hear me randomly randomly mute, that's what I'm doing. Hello, how are we today? Oh, excuse me. It's um, it's it's it, it, we're playing SpongeBob today. <laughs> it's uh, the, the the famous SpongeBob remake. I think it's a few years old now, but I don't know. It's like a really popular game that people love, and it's like a vibe. Apparently, really funny. So I wanted to try it. How are you though? I'm sorry for being late. Thing is, I was at a. I took a long mental health walk because I've been a little bit tired because social media is very rough right now uh, to work with I, and to use, but, but to work with it's been a little bit rough. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out. I'm going to take a long walk. And then I walked really far and then also it started raining and it was awful. And I got home late and I had to eat. So here I am. <laughs> Sorry for being a bit late. I mean, we are playing Spongebob today, so we can probably start by saying, are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. More like anti-social media. Ahaha, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. So anyway, that's what's up. That's what's up. I hope you guys are having a comfy Friday. I know not everyone starts like the weekend with having like Friday nights off or even having the weekends off. But if you are one of the people that rest during the weekends, then, you know, I wish you a restful weekend. And if not, well, I hope that you find some rest sometime soon. It's very important to get the breaks and stuff. How do you feel about SpongeBob? I used to watch it, like, religiously. I heard it's still going. Or, like, didn't they cancel SpongeBob or something? I don't remember. I don't remember, but uh, Spongebob is a sponge. He used to be, uh, uh, let's see here. He used to be really funny. I don't know if he's still funny, but Spongebob, old Spongebob is the cause of so many memes for a reason. It's like a, like a meme factory over there. It's funny stuff. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good to see you, Loxium. It's good to be here. Um, and let's see here. Let's see here. Should I remind you of something? Yes, yes. Uh, Patron Hangout is on Sunday. Sunday at um, 5 p.m. So, you know, you can be there. Mm. Newer episode can still be funny. So I've heard. That's cool. Okay, cool. Awesome. It's a classic. Yeah, yeah. Classic, classic. True classic. It used to, like, they used to air reruns of Spongebob all the time. Like, so much Spongebob. At, uh... Nickelodeon, I think, growing up. They were like, all sorts of Spongebob, all the sponges. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Hi, Paidu. Hello, Jogi. Hello, everybody. We are sponging the boy. Doesn't sound quite right now, does it? We are the, the sponge bobbing. Sp sp sponging the bob today. Yes. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Clean content with a sponge. Hello, Taro. Good to see you. So, so I, I, I used to, like, my, my Taylor Beds friend, we bonded so much over SpongeBob. It was our favorite thing. We were both really big fans of absurdism and absurd humor, even though we didn't know the name of it. Loved Monty Python, SpongeBob, uh, like everything. That was absurd. Like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't remember a lot of shows, but if it was really weird and like lol XD random humor, it, we loved it. And and absurdity is still something that I really appreciate. You know how I like weird games and stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of that comes from SpongeBob. Hello, Koi. How's it going? And hello, everybody. Dropping in right now. It's good to see you. Happy Friday. How do you celebrate your Fridays? I celebrate my Fridays by hanging out with you guys. Other than that, I just kind of work per usual, you know. Always done. And when the grind 
because A is funny and B I gotta live. Yes, it's always good to be here. Sun um, Fridays is like a very fun, goofy stream. I basically just do whatever the heck I feel like. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's St. Patrick's Day? Wait, please, please remind me. What's St. Patrick's Day about? The older you get, the more you relate to Squidward. Yeah. Everyone except for me is stupid. Or oh, whatever it is, the quote is. He's great. Hi, Salt. Great to see you. Uh, let's see here. St. Patrick's is Irish. Oh, I see, I see. Mm. Something about snakes in Ireland, says Retro. Uh, I don't know. Snakes? Well, I hope you're having a good one. I well, know the Irish like to party. They, they, they like to to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Celebrated Friday by watching Yomi stream. You know what? That's a based thing to do. <laughs> hey, in related news, or unrelated news, I went on, um, I've been thinking, I've been thinking. So like, you know how social media is kind of bad and stuff and all of that sort of stuff? I realized, hmm, what if I like do some sort of revamp of my, my, my timeline? Wow. Cleanse it a little bit. Oh, wow, thank you, Nananas. I can't believe it's been eight months. That is surreal. Thank you so much. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Um, okay, so I figured, hmm, well, I see a lot of the same stuff on my Twitter, for example. I don't use Twitter very much. And like kind of the same thing on my Twitch. And I just need a little will change. So I went around stream hopping for the first time in a long time. I haven't done that in a really long time. Just kind of stream hopping, looking for like fun, cute VTubers to chat with. And I met some really nice ones. And one that I really uh, vibe with. She had like a really 90s style, it was called Clovet. But there was a bunch of them. A bunch of them, really nice, cool people. And it was, it was cool. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot there's a lot of cool people on Twitch. Well, yeah, I guess, uh, let's see here. Yes, this one was really cool. It's like a vibe. What, what do you mean? How do you, how do you shout out? How do you, how do you do the thing? How do you? Is it, is it slash shout out? I, yum Yum doesn't understand. But yeah, I don't know. That was a good vibe. There we go. Welcome to Aiga Fan. Hello. St. <laughs> Patrick's Day is the celebration of St. Patrick driving the snakes, the pagans, out of Ireland. Oh, I see. Oh, well, all right. Say happy St. Patrick's Day, mostly because a lot of people celebrate it. I don't because I'm pagan and celebrate Ostara instead. Okay, yeah, okay. I see why you as a pagan wouldn't celebrate St. Patrick. <laughs> okay, well, there's also this thing, uh, like just purely cultural. Um, um, you know, like sometimes we just need an excuse to do things together and um, we need things especially like dates and reasons to celebrate and like just joyous occasions um that sort of stuff we just need that in our cultures those are the kind of things that we write um that we unite within and it's our framework for our culture and for society and you know it's just important for people's lives to have them. So even if you may disagree with some of the, the holidays and stuff, uh, if you look past like the reason we do them and then you're like, okay, well, this is like a reason to see my family. Then it's it's a lot cooler, you know? Yes. Uh, stream elements command for the patron alert didn't work. Huh? Patron. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just slow. Do you like blue cheese? No, it's disgusting and it should be illegal. Who? Why would you eat mold? <laughs> and call me Tiger for short. Favorite thing is cats and I am gay. Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you, Retro. Well, welcome, Tiger. Thank you so much for the gifts of Retro. The salt smoothie. Oh, smoothie, you gave subs yesterday, but you didn't sub yourself, huh? Oh. It's like beef uh, I get to eat on the day of lol. That sounds nice. I like that. Thank you so much. 
St. Patty's. It's just kind of a fun thing to do, wear green and pinch people who don't. <gasps> Whoa, do you consensually pinch them? I feel like otherwise just pinching people uh, is a crime. <laughs> I like blue cheese, but I respect your opinion. I too respect your awful tasting cheese. So, yeah, disgusting. But not as disgusting as uh, Coca Cola. Hello, Gleek. How you doing? Yeah, I said it. I said it. I hate Coca Cola. It tastes disgusting. It's like disgusting sugar, lemon syrup with water in it and drink it and you go Ugh. Ooh, I've been pouring this poison into my body get it out of here nah sorry being contrarian no it's good sometimes if I'm really hungry or really thirsty it actually tastes good but I can't have it with food but for example during a convention uh, the convention I was at I was gifted a coca-cola and I was like wait a minute Okay, I'm not that thirsty, and I got really thirsty. It's just like all the salts, it, it, I think the sugar was really rehydrating, and that was a really good cola. But other than that, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Acidic sugar water sounds great. Yes. You don't like Coca Cola? No. Except for if I'm really thirsty. It's the St. Patty sugar cookies? What are we talking about? You guys have cool traditions that I don't know about. You get cookies? Hello, Gleek. I agree, you don't like cola, it tastes weird and gritty. Hmm. Don't, I drink more energy drinks than anything else. I drink water and gamer subs. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, because I trust water. As a European, as a Scandinavian, I can trust the water in my tap. I am 95% certain that the tap water in my city is actually the cleanest tap water in literally the entire world. So I drink a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you live in Gothenburg and you drink bottled water, then you haven't thought that one through. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's cleaner than bottled water. It's, it's clean, clean. It's really good. Uh, and then game is subs because uh, I, I like it. And also sponsored, but legit, like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't drink it. What about Seisa juice? Seisa juice is water. It's clean can trust the tap water in South Africa, so got a purifier. Mm. That is very, very sensible. Mm, mm, mm. People go wild on St. Patrick's Day in the US. What do you do? You know about the way they dye river screen, huh? No? And yes, Yuki, I am healthy. Hello there, um... Uh, jo 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 I don't know how to read it. I'm, I'm guessing jo -Jan. Hello, how you doing? I miss drinking apple cider. Hmm. <gasps> you know what? Okay, brave opinion. Back when I used to eat sugar, I guess. Apple cider was my favorite thing with food. With savory food, like proper apple cider is like the best. I don't drink wine, I don't drink alcohol and stuff. So instead of that, I would have something like apple cider and I really like it. Yum, 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 yum. Dried River Green in Chicago for St. Patty's. I feel like that's a very weird thing to do. But, but okay. Except you, How's it going? Eco safe green dye. Okay. Okay. Did people get green? Is it eco friendly or eco safe? I feel like those are two different things. Oh, good here. Hey, cool. Same here. Just, uh, just vibing a little bit. We're gonna play this SpongeBob game and it's totally not downloading as we speak and I'm not stalling. Apple cider crisps or apple cider cookies? Mmm. I haven't tried apple cider. It's good. It's legit good. It's like fine if you drink it on your own, but apple cider actually works really well with um, beef and pork. More, more so with beef in my opinion. Um, if you're having a fancy meal and you don't want to drink wine because you don't like wine or you don't drink alcohol, such is me then apple cider i recommend uh, recommend it recommend it yes either way no faces or plants die okay cool based it's good tap water also became green in chicago okay hear me out average holiday or not if my tap water came out green i 
would not drink it and I wouldn't trust my taps anymore. It's like if it comes out like brown or like black tap water. Have you heard those stories? Actually, those are gruesome. Let's not go into it. And like red tap water. Disgusting. I join because I love cute boys. I didn't expect an actual adorable one being here. Hey, it's Crystal Berry. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's smooth. <laughs> I would be concerned. Yes. Hire an exorcist to make it not green? Hmm. Yes. Your tap water came out green? What? Well, I don't know. I haven't lived in Chicago. I have reasons I don't want to live in the US. Mainly because it's the US and I like Scandinavia very much. Anyway. Yeah, so it, apparently in Chicago when they dyed the river green, it made people's tap water green. And uh, I feel like that's a very bad idea. Maybe don't do that. I mean, I would probably, if I had to, I would boil the water first and then drink it. But like, like, what's the point? <laughs> All right. So we're playing the SpongeBob, SpongeBob game. Do you think it worked? Tap water is not green. Good, good, good. The Kaga gets the drinking water from the big lake. The river does empty into. Somebody made a rash decision and they were they went party mode. They were like, yeah, let's party. <laughs> party, party, party. Green party. And then and then like some poor auntie was like god we can't drink the water anymore it's green we're going to die <laughs> isn't tap water red what okay so here's what you're going to do when you find that your tap water is red you call the church and you ask them to send a bunch of qualified personnel and then you wait outside and if possible, make a salt circle around you and everyone you love and light a large candle. And don't let that candle ever blow out. And things will work out. Thank you, Grizzly. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I mean, isn't it a vibe when you have to do the salt circle? I've been currently reading the Monarch series by Penguin Books. Oh, cool. Details all English monarchs from Ath 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 from place to Elizabeth the second. No wait, from person. <laughs> Tip from a genius, my can't. <laughs> my day can't get better than this. Yeah, I'm smart. I am smart boy. You know what? I I I want to uh, do a sing songy. I'm gonna sing a song I haven't sung in a while. Uh, I'm gonna wanna do a sing songy and then we'll play. <laughs> Red tap water could be caused by rust or sediments in the pipe. Yes. Or demons. <laughs> it depends. Does it burn when you touch it? Can you swallow it without lethal implications? Does it physically hurt to look at it? Or your, <laughs> is your soul in danger if you drink it? If all, if the answer to all of the above is no, then it's probably just rust. My, uh, my Nana's place, her summer place, actually has, um, where the heck did I put my, my, my music? Where's my, okay, I'm gonna, I think I know what to do. It, it has like its own well, and it, it used to taste like rust. And everyone said, oh, don't worry about that. It's just, it's just the water here. And then they actually cleaned the pipes and it stopped tasting like metal and rust and it it doesn't have that gross gray tint anymore and we went are you are, are you for real kidding like actually we we've been drinking this all along that's disgusting okay uh let's hope everything works marco
I like singing. I want, I want to sing more. Beautiful, thank you. Um, I just kind of accepted that sometimes when I sing, it's a little bit scuffed, and it's uh, easier to sing when you accept that. Cause like, I feel like I can't do my heist the same way anymore, because my throat is kind of itchy still. But I'll get there. So, who's ready for SpongeBob? Are you ready, kids? I literally can't hear you. Are you ready, kids? Oh, who lives in the yam 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 apple under the sea? SpongeBob. Vem bor i en annans under? Vet du, det är det. Svampbob, fyrkan. Gul och porös och sen delas som två. Svampbob, fyrkan. Jag bara när det kommer till fritt ser jag Svampbob, fyrkan. Svampbob, fyrkan. Svampbob, fyrkan. Du, 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 du. I think the game is booting. That's uh, an attempt at the Swedish version. Oh! Okay, it booted. <laughs> That's an attempt at the Swedish version of the thing. I don't do it. I have not watched Swan Swampbob, <laughs> Spongebob, in a really long time, okay? Amazing content. Thanks! I'm glad. I'm your Ashi, right? You love me. I, I make the best content. You love everything I do. Well, you better. Also, um, okay, so I heard from somewhere and apparently somehow I'm always too early with this because you're always doing like, let's see here. They're always doing like American time stuff. But uh, Game Brain Subs, is, they're having a, a sale or like a thing where you get a free waifu cup when you order certain things. There we go. In case you're interested, hashtag sponsored and stuff. Remember that this game came out 2003 originally. Yes. And I didn't play it. I got Swedish knowledge from just listening to my beef coming in clutch here. Oh, really? Your boyfriend's Swedish? You play this on GameCube, it's fun. Listen, when this came out, everyone, oh hang on, calibrating. Everyone went like instant ultra nostalgia mode. And apparently they did a really good job with this. So not only is it like a remaster of an old game, they just like, they made it really good. It's like a modern take on the old game. It's like, not even remastered. It's, wait, there's multiplayer? Cool. Uh, options. I'm sure there has to be some sort of subtitle. There we go. Accessibility, good. Uh, it's just a, like a really solid game. All right, new game. SpongeBob swinging his arm. It's doing like a VTuber animation. My boyfriend is in fact Swedish. I went to see him last December and I loved it there. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like our little, little country. It's very small and cold. <laughs> Wait, you went from Africa to Sweden in December? <laughs> I feel like that's kind of a jarring change of climate, isn't it? How did you enjoy the darkness and the coldness? Harry, today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror. Wherein our little yellow friend what? will play the starring role. Hey, who wants a chum bucket with me? Today's the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> but how will you have customers if you, uh, you know what? He's plankton. He's a literal cartoon villain. Makes sense. <sighs> That will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. Robots? One last this day and age. Of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. Oh, I see. We have we have a funny guy. We have a funny guy among us. My perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Wait, it was cold and dark. Hello? It was very jarring. What Got to show snow. But throw snow. Yeah! So I wanted to you. But yeah, it's very cold and jarring. Hello, welcome. 
somebody to hire you. It's your boy. We're playing the comfy game or the nostalgia game. Playing SpongeBob game. That's what we do. Wow, stinky robots. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I was adjusting the audio and then it just moved. Hey, friends of tea. See ya. Robots and racehorses. Yeah. Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. You know, the older I get, the more I just want to be Patrick. He is so blissfully stupid. He's such a vibe. I love him. This is why if you're a villain, never have a huge switch or button where everything goes wrong. It's not just any shell. It's my magic. What the heck was that? A robot in See, they read it all, all the models and stuff, but they didn't just like retexture them. Okay. They made really high quality models. They look kind of non cartoony, but yeah. Then we go to Lurk Lane. And in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? Magic conch shell. I I must have been raised in a barn. I don't I haven't I don't know what the magic conch shell is. Alakazama alabala wisa dinkitana fush. Are you sure this will work? Did you get that? Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going what? to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. I, I don't think I follow. Maybe because it's it's very it's very dumb. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's got the dog. He's got that uh, that alarm clock. Oh Gary, wait, I got my snail. Hang on, there we go. That was interesting. And a little bit unclear, but yeah, interesting. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. So someone broke into his house and wrote that? That's kind of sussy. I don't know, I, I don't really vibe with that. Let me know if you feel me on that one or not. I don't, I don't think I can vibe with that. There we go. Oh, hello Nikki, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Gary, she looks like wearing a dozy of a pickle, yes. I think I'm going to have to learn a lot in order to, to fix this mess. Mao. What a fantastic idea! Just Snailton make sounds like that too. It's Snailton. How you doing? Ma. <laughs> nah, it doesn't work. I want him to have scary growling voice. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Oh my God, no! It's from back in the time where they had to. Ex but they had to explain to you how to play a game because they assume you never played games, I guess. Like, click on thing to interact with it. Okay. Oh, oh. This is a very messed up thing you've done to me, Gary. You pretty smug. What's that? I have to read. From Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. <laughs> Money. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow, okay. A promotion. Shiny object. That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails? Why are you hitting Gary? I want him. all these shiny objects that the robots I would never hit this nail. And bringing them to me. Now stop the crab's voice we got for the video games. Yeah, it's kind of kind of missing something, isn't it? Well, all right. Shiny objects are valuable. Do you collect them? Ooh, bonk. So I haven't played many platformers. I kind of want to play Conquest Bad Ferdy, but that is like a very uh, 
very raunchy game. But it's also very cute. Oh, you can you can double double jump. Cool. Need one golden spatula to leave. Okay. Need a bunch of shiny objects. Fifty-two. SpongeBob can see how well he's doing by pressing tab. The number of the upper right is how many shiny. Okay. Thanks. I know how to read an I, AQ. Chill out, SpongeBob. You just woke up. I'm sure there's time to eat. Oh, it's here. You always love SpongeBob. Something my siblings and I still quote to each other, even as adults. Yeah, me too. My only childhood friend. We will usually just like whenever we actually talk, we usually just kind of meme around. But SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, let's get out. Can't get out. Let's go here. Ta-da! Is the audio fine? Clancy Brown is the person that does uh, uh, Mr. Krabs. Also, um, the biting satire of uh, Mr. Krabs was always lost on me until I uh, got older. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, I, I get it. I get it. It's making fun of a very specific type of person. It's fine. Awesome. Hi, Nia. How's it going? Yeah, I, 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 I can't stand like listening to a stream where like the game audio is like louder than the talk, the, the streamer. It's like jarring. You're polluting my thinking space. I like that. That's sassy. Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Hmm. Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. You should write a twit blogger and have them cancelled. my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. I am so sorry. That is that. What? Okay. That's Not the spoons though. Hello, Kudoro. How's it going? Happy Freddy. Clancy Brown boys meet the crab and played Hank in Detroit Become Human. I haven't played that, but that's in space. Thank you, Kudoro. Welcome. Um, yummy. How, how, how's your SpongeBob situation? I sh how are your sponge levels right now? Not the forks. Of course I'll help. That that extends to all of you. It's your sponge bob intake sufficient today. Sponge Otherwise bob, I got gotcha. you. Get me back into the chum bucket. I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. Bucket full of gold, eh? Yeah, you shouldn't. You've got hmm. a deal. Oh, SpongeBob. Sweet, sweet. Bunch? You, you innocent little creature. You are so stupid. I love you. <laughs> ah. Such an adorable little buffoon. So beloved. Nothing between brain. He's completely lost. Doesn't even know where he is. I love you. <laughs> he also voiced a character in Avatar. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, hang on. Well, I do love cute boys. How did you know, Yami? It's just a hunch. Just a hunch. Then you are welcome here. Oh my god, I... That's good. I took damage. Is that good or is that bad? I think... SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a <gasps> is 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 a uh, is this bubble imaginary friend bubble buddy. bubble buddy you see you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man but uh, all i need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots oh yeah sorry i've been <laughs> in the soap bottle a little too long hey, wait he can speak since when uh something about new bubble moves Oh, Clancy right. Brown was the voice Press of Lex like, Luthor and Superman. Straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything okay, that that's is cool. directly above you. Try it out. Wait, okay, I got it. I I don't care too much for like classic tutorial tutorials. I just want you to like 
play the game and then it automatically goes, but I guess it's just... Oh. Now I can't do it. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, got it. Like, just play the game and then, like, progressively just do more things. I think Doom Eternal is, like, the master class in how to just make the player just play the game and figure it out. Activate this button, jump, and press... To smash the beautiful Polynesian tiki's, I guess. The newer episode where Bubble Buddy comes back and asks SpongeBob to babysit his son. Oh wow, really? Wait, does time actually like pass in Sp SpongeBob? Is wait, didn't like S Cindy, Mindy, Mandy, Squirrel Girl? Did she like move out or something? pal just blew in from uh, stupid town I punch you I punch you cuz you're stupid you're a stupid stupid man you're a stupid man Patrick but I love you although what's this oh it's it's it's, it's underwear that's Weird. If you say so. Oh, I can't glide. I can't swim. There's no. We don't swim here. Okay. Can I pull this up? It's Sandy. Okay, so Sandy. I heard something about her kind of moving out. Taxi. I don't want to brush over what just happened, but I don't think I can describe it. I I, I, I don't have the mental capacity to uh, to deal with that right now. Okay, we need spatulas. Is this the hub? I don't know, he looks so scared. And then he was all like, I don't know, he could drag down. Fun with SpongeBob. Bye, Lovey. Okay. Uh, F. You have to go there by taxi or human hand grab. I. I. Okay. Okay. That, yeah, that's fine. No, it's good. No, it's okay. That's, that's great. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw. You know, these graphics are actually pretty good. This is nice. This goes way beyond just taking a game, GameCube game and- Oh my god! Oh my god, that man is fearing for his life! You can hear the actual dread in his voice. He gets Squidward- oh. I feel like pain is just in his- so I was in his future, isn't it? Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, <laughs> you barnacle head. Barnacle well, head. Okay. Well, I'm okay. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I, mean, big I have a couple of boots that make me big. sound like Squidward when he walks, and, and I hate it. Oh my gosh, you're uh, you leave in smoothie, bye boy. And you look clammy, and oh my gosh, you're bald. bald. Yes, always but been. Now I'm stung all over. Well. According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. Hashtag sponsored. King Jellyfish. King Jellyfish. Well, I guess you're off the scale, Sport Mountain. And sport die Mountain. a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. Okay. <laughs> Let's go and see the uh, King Jellyfish and uh, help poor Squidward out and die in the process. Don't worry, Squidward. What? I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Wait, what's wrong with you, SpongeBob? Why, why do you sound like that? Oh, so hello there, you like to see you. Welcome. How old am I? I am. Uh, I am. In, I am. I am age. <laughs> oh, whoop! 
nice, beautiful Polynesian art. Bam. I'm assuming it's Polynesian. Wait. Where is Bikini Bottom? It's Polynesian, right? Someone educate me. What was that voice? I was just doing whatever SpongeBob was doing. I didn't know I could sound like that, actually. I wasn't. Didn't know I could produce sounds like that. Ow. Okay. Wait, can I. Can I murder this robot? Take that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I, I, I have a taste for blood now. <gasps> Die! <laughs> That's satisfying. The way you could launch one into the other. That's nice. I think Bikini Bottom technically is you as waters. Well, yeah. Well, Polynesia is technically, or some of it. I mean, Hawaii is technically U.S. waters. The rest is Oceania? Hmm. Hmm. It's an interesting conundrum. Okay, so I'm assuming I can use this to platform. I feel like a new sponge. Oh! Well, anyway, just destroyed the, the beautiful tiki. There you go. Oh! Stinky sock. How does SpongeBob die in water? If he's already underwater. I know it's the oldest joke. It's like the most common bit in SpongeBob, but what am I looking at exactly? What what is going on here? What exactly is going on here? Reveal bikini bottom is a bomb test site, if I recall correctly. Uh no, that would be correct. I mean Okay, so we don't have to go into this, but the United States has a very bad habit of bombing a lot of islands, a lot of Polynesian islands. There's actually an entire island in Hawaii that's uh, it's just completely ruined and nothing can live on it because the Americans bombed it for 70 years. They just kind of took it one day and then started bombing it. Uh, so you know, they, they, they bomb stuff, I'm pretty sure that that would be correct, uh, if to confirm. Reminds me of the game with the slime. Yeah, slime branch here. Hi, Ray. Horrible. Yeah, the more I learn about Hawaiian history, the, the more shocked I am. Uh, it's, uh, scary stuff. We're not going to talk though, but, but, but just so you know, they, they do that. It's okay though. They apologized in the 90s, after having started out in like the 40s. No, wait, they gave it back in the 90s. They apologized like 20 years ago? Eh. Smash. I feel like SpongeBob is kind of strong, we isn't he? Met the Sponginator. The Sponginator. And also, there's life everywhere. Is this a baby game? I feel like this is a baby game. Not a very hard game. Is that ice? I... Freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use it. Okay, so it's not ice at least, because that would kind of mess me up, I guess. In the water, there's brine pool. A little puddle less dense than actual water. Oh, okay, it's brine pool. Yeah, actually, I have seen those... Those, um... Uh, underwater lakes. They're, they're like a real thing. Yeah, it's like brine. Brine pool. It's like super salty. And, uh, don't swim in it without... Some sort of suit. Yeah, look at that, look at that. It's all brine. They'll kill ya. Like this first area, it's nice. It's like a little playground, you know? That's how you know it's a platformer that, oh, that wants you to have fun. They make the starting areas like a playground. Taken straight out of the Mario 64 playbook. But the starting area, the first place you go, it's just this really fun, open playground sort of map where you just kind of mess around and there's like a nice mountain to scale, it's a flying island to go to. It's a bunch of different things just kind of hanging out. Huh. 
Is that Plankton or the Americans who, who, who bombed here? <laughs> I don't really see if it's just like Bikini Bottom or not. Meow. Meow. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden You heard that snail too? Plankton most likely, okay. Bungee jump. Like the, the humor isn't lost on me that they have all of these things here. Underwater. SpongeBob, you don't. Oh, it's okay. You don't have gonads, I guess. <laughs> Dive. I. Hmm. Yeah, he's a sponge. Wahoo! Okay, I want to go back. That would have been the worst moment of my life. Luckily, I'm not a sponge. Oh wait, because I'm not a sponge, that would have been. Luckily, I'm not SpongeBob. Take that here. Smug snail. Can I go here? Ah, <gasps> press the button, Kronk. Oh, that's what it is. Your African internet is fighting for its life. Is it bad in Africa? I don't actually know very much about Africa. I'm interested though. It's just I've been trying to learn more about like other places. Uh other continents, other cultures, other countries. But Africa is still one that I just don't really know much about. Why would you punch yourself like that, my dude? Are you calibrating? Are you just not feeling yourself? Oh. And he's dead. Well, that wasn't too bad, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at this dude. I'm kind of feeling this dude. I, I am feeling this dude. That's uh, that's me when I wake up. I feel like that. I can't describe it in words, but when you look at this, that's how I feel when I wake up. Let me just make it stay worse. By committing crimes. <laughs> Excuse me. Hiccups. Ow! Okay, the enemies are so, like, simple that you, you underestimate them and that's how they attack you. You haven't played the remaster yet? It's on sale, actually. That's why I got it. I was like, you know what? I haven't tried this yet. And I heard really good things about this remaster. But it, it is slightly beb game, isn't it? Go around, collect the things. And be SpongeBob. Love the original PS2 version of this. SpongeBob felt really flexible in terms of movement. Yeah. Yeah, the movement is really good. Let's see. You can do. Okay, you can double jump or you can do one and this. Like the bubble thingy here. Fresh, like a spring Welcome, Cyber Kitty Yuki. How you doing? Didn't hear hiccup good. South Africa is pretty cool. Got cool mountains, culture, history, and stuff. Yes, yes, ancient. Ancient cultures. Like ancient, ancient. Da, 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 da. So, my culture is, um, depending on how you count it, like if you count when the Norse came to, uh, when they came to Scandinavia, that's when the ice left. Uh, pretty much immediately they came there. And the Sami. Uh, it's pretty old. But like, not, not like Africa or China old. That's just like ancient, ancient, ancient. Cute from pets watch TV with you? I guess so. I mean, I don't watch TV. I despise TV. I can't do commercials or uh, corporate anything really. But, but I get it. I... I get what you mean, like they watch the thing you watch. Dun, 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 dun. Don't watch much Spongebob. But I did once I had a friend over. My dog watched a bit of stuff. I love that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh. Wait, no, look at this. Look at the graphics. It's also polished. Like they really cared. They cared making this. But I feel like there is some sort of uh, inflation going on here. 
with the shiny stuff. Also, I don't need those lives, right? It's just lives, the underwear. South Africa is kind of young still in terms of colonization. Oh, okay. Don't know much about before when the Dutch drive. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bug. I love SpongeBob. Been watching it since I was a child. Yeah. SpongeBob is great. It's so funny. Like, it's like a fever dream. This is like the most lucid and clear and cohesive SpongeBob thing I've seen in my entire life, I think. What do I do with this? Combo? Can I do other attack? I yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, beat the crap out of the robots. One golden spatula, please. What the underwater thing do? What do you mean by that? What does it do? History and mythology is still worth to read. Mm hmm. Tokoloshi, definitely gonna keep you awake. What is that? Camera looks really nice to move. The original, if you want to look down or up. It moves straight up, straight down very violently. Oh, I see. <gasps> hey, it's Mermaid Man. I remember this guy. It's got Squidward in a suit as his friend. And uh, on an invisible car. Yes, he's evil. Yes, Sponge Kid. Mermaid Man, you were about to tell me that the legend of Spongebob being named Spongebob and not Spongeboy because Spongeboy was already a brand of sponges was made up. There was never a brand called Spongeboy. A scrub daddy now, but that's not Spongebob. Did you know that? They made that up. I, someone made that up. It's just like a lie somebody said on the internet one day and people just believed it. You shouldn't believe things on the internet. Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Oh, that's what that was. Wait, he is? Oh, no, I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Get out of my stream. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! No, they're not. Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Stop talking about your feet! About... <laughs> can I hurt you? Yes, I can. Now I don't want to talk... Well, actually, I just want to talk to you. Just come here. Come here. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk. I'm talking to you right now. I'm a good talk. This is how I talk. Good talk. Bam. Okay, so that was weird and uncomfortable and messed up. It's a slide, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. So am I supposed to have thousands upon thousands of collectibles? I love opening presents. Whoa, how do you... That was a ton of fun. How do you I do big do time... Sometime. Big time fast slide. I wasn't paying attention. I guess you can't. The Dan Snyder work in this game. Ugh. Uh, uh, I have nothing nice to say about Dan Snyder. The less said, the better. Let's see what was that. Yeah, he just came up with it on the spot, right? That's not his voice. Then again, the old actor died before the remaster came out. Oh, I see. Okay, maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. It's okay, I'm, I'm Spongebob. I'll make it work. I'm a literal cartoon, and also Spongebob is a cartoon. Ow, my god! Ow, okay. You can't hit them in the air. It's not Smash. I'm dead. I get what I deserve. Steel guitar, I can never remember the name of it, but it's a comfy, comfy sound. Wait, what? I don't have a spatula? Oh, he's scared. He 
He's a shook one. Oh. Ain't no thing, it's a halfway trick. Do 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 do. The scared are shook. I love Mob Deep. It's good, good stuff. Been blasting them lately. How do I, uh, okay. I could just speed on this, right? Like, in theory, I can just do this. Just not mind them. Fresh like a spring breeze. He's dead. Go SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! Do you like my gaming skills? <laughs> I'm gonna speed on this. Hey, so yesterday I released my first ever Swedish YouTube video and I worked really hard on it. And I really hope that it will make a splash, but I don't know. I feel like I made some sort of mistakes. It's not really getting the traction I was hoping for. But um, it's, I'm very proud of it regardless. And it has English subtitles and it's on my new channel. If you haven't checked it out and if you're genuinely interested, you should check it out. It's a, uh, it was a lot of hard work. The reason it's in Swedish, by the way, is because it kind of gets like drowned out a lot of the stuff that I do on YouTube. Fresh, like a spring breeze. You know, in English. So I'm hoping that maybe this will be a little way to like differentiate what I do and make it more worth the time. Um, and I always wanted to be a proper YouTuber as well, so I might as well give it a shot. You know, if you want to see that sort of stuff, you know, check it out. And I will, of course, continue to produce it in English as well. Spongenator. That voice line has already got an old SpongeBob. Oh, there he is. So if you want to check it out, check it out. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. But I, like, I don't need, uh, I don't need like dead subscribers or like inactive subscribers. If you're not, if you're not gonna watch it, then you don't have to. Watch, like, don't. Feel obligated. <laughs> hey, SpongeBob. So. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Do, do, do. Well, it's been very interesting, actually, learning how to like edit, well, faster-paced stuff, oh, yeah, and edit story. kind of I elaborate stuff it too. I've been doing like a lot of really elaborate edits on that thing. Thanks, Patrick. Like creative I tell you stuff. What, all that running around and it's hard. Why don't you continue on for a bit? But it's fun, actually. But it eats too much time. So I'm going to learn how to do things faster. Okay. Like one thing that I really like about editing YouTube stuff is because like you can make like jokes and references and all of that stuff, you know, when you're live. Oh my God, I'm Patrick. I'm a vibe. When you're live, bam. Take that watermelon. Eklig, eklig watermelon. Bleh. Uh, is that you can make it really elaborate and like creative when you're editing it for like YouTube or like Instagram, TikTok and stuff. It's funny. Funny jokes get uh, more visually interesting and stuff. Da -dum -da -dum. Can I play some Pokemon? Ooh, Pokemon Platinum. Wait, How which one is that? Is that a new one? Platinum. <gasps> my hat, my stash. Can I talk to you, sir? No, I can only hurt you. It's called the hedgehog's dilemma. The closer I get to someone, the higher the odds of me hurting them. Of course, me uh, tackling the person on purpose doesn't help much. This is a bus stop. Switch between playing SpongeBob or Patrick. Oh, okay. Wait, I should probably hit that thing with my tummy. Dum -da -dum. Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Platinum is from 2008. I haven't kept up. Okay, okay, bust up. Let me, uh... Huh. Whoa! That was jarring. Wait. I feel like there's something very important I'm supposed to do as Patrick here. That's cool that you can play by him. Okay. Come on. Come on, SpongeBob. Do 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 do. Hey Henry, I did miss something important. Yeah. Let's 
see. Can I throw a fruit? Okay. Ha. Huh. There we go. You know what? That makes sense. Uh. Oh. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh. We're doing timed, huh? How dare you? Disgusting. Let me uh, casually f just flow through my uh, my platformer, please. Oh, ah, that's okay. I see what's going on here. Yay! All right. But like, we can all agree on they should just theoretically be able to like swim here. Like, gravity functioning the way it does, it doesn't make much sense. Like, in theory, he wouldn't really need to do any of this. He could just swim. Hey, man. What are you listening to? Why, oh, I got some, uh, bring with the horizon in there. What's with the, uh, mischievous? Nope. Attic can pick up a thunder tiki. It is tiki, they are Polynesian. And threw it just like other tiki's, but he had better throw it first. Hmm. Okay. Have you seen a starfish swim? Uh, I've seen them crawl. They do like a little walk. Carry a lot of stuff oh. Well, I tried to kill that guy, but whoop. Okay. So what? What do, what do I need 1,800 pickups for? The bride will kill them? Well, just swim above the bride. I don't see the problem in this scenario. So rude. Rock is talking to me. Almighty Rock, I am at your command. Yes. All hail the rock. Down here, you big pink lummox. It's a lummox? Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Something about not being vaporized, but it just kind of cut out, so I'm assuming. Wait. I don't want to read the signs, but you're making me have to. Oh, if you jump in the air and press the thing. Since when did Spongebob operate on logic? Hmm. That's true. Spongebob doesn't operate on logic. Spongebob operates on emotional truth. And that's a very potent thing. And it also operates on stupid jokes and I like that. Grab. Firmly throw the watermelon. Ta-da! Kind of loving the stock sound effects. Okay, if I just up, oh, never mind. I wanted to throw on that thing, but I don't really know what I should do with all these pickups. I feel like they're oh, that's much better. I feel like there's like too many of them. Run! Ouch. Okay, let's see here. Magma hurts. Who would have? Uh, who would have thunk? Oh. oh. It's okay. I got this. I know what to do. And it's gone. I know what to do. The weight of the throw fruit will also activate pressure plates. Thanks. You know, I grew up not knowing English. 
I knew zero English growing up. Before I was an overachiever in English in school. Uh, but, however, I knew no English. And I still played games. And that's just the reality in Scandinavia. Like, they don't translate games for kids. You just gotta f figure it out, dummy. I, I feel like that's not correct. So, eh, it's gonna, hang on, I got it. Just kind of, you know, like tutorials and stuff that didn't mean anything. When there was text on screen or they were talking, that was the boring part because we couldn't understand it anyway. It was just like, why can't I play the game right now? Why do I have to read the thing? So, I learned to go full, full, full just figure it out myself. Enough underwear. Ah. That's much better. Can you imagine that? Just playing games and not having any idea what they're saying. Could you do that? Just like... I mean, that's what it's like to me, kind of, if I play like a Japanese game or something. It's just like it was growing up. Just figure it out. Just click on things till it works. That's like what made uh, games like Pokemon such like adventures because you had to like rely on friends and stuff to like tell you stuff. Oh, like playground, playground rules, I guess. Or playground, playground tips and stuff. It was a good time. Impressed by my slide skills? Yes, you would be. You would be impressed by me in general. Oh, hang on. Can I? Cheat a robot onto the thing. Can I? Hello there, Kazuma! Alright, it's cleared. All the bots have been cleared, or so I thought. And it blew up. Okay, hang on. Our first proper challenge. This game makes my brain smooth. Like I can feel it smoothing out my brain physically. I can feel it going on in my head right now. It's kind of a nice feeling. No, don't throw! Okay, hang on. I'm gonna do this for like the fourth time. Thing? This floof? Yes. What's between those ears? No brain. Just flew. Ow. No. 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 Die. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them on other robots. Oh. How, how does he stun people? Oh, right, right, right. Well, I'm glad I figured it out. Too bad he's dead. And we will miss him. Okay, I got this. Got ourselves a difficulty spike. Either that or I wasn't paying attention. That's but I, I think both. Ow. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, there's like lights and pickups everywhere. So it's like fine. Is that a solution here? Stun... stun them? Uh, can I... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why is this so hard? I, I need to throw it on the thing. Maybe I'm not supposed to. You, you're coming with me. No, you just random citizen and I just hurt you. Guy's having a day, huh? Ow. I mean, Patrick is very strong, yes. Or maybe not strong enough. I mean, I should just be able to cross here, right? Okay. Yep. It's just, just go. Just, just. 
carry on. Whoopito ba ba ba. Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. yes. Does it have money? That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. What? It, uh, what? You can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Wait, poop deck is a real thing, but it's also very funny. Which one is the poop deck? Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, Patrick. Oh, Patrick. To be as blissfully unaware of everything like you. Do, 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 do. That chat GBT robot has been trained to shoot specifically at Patrick, but it might also shoot at uh, a conehead. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Okay, it's a labyrinth. Okay, maybe I need to stun them. Cool. New enemies. Fits quite right. Splat. I kill you. I hurt you. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. That's unfortunate. Okay, I see. That's that's how you deal with out of bounds, huh? You know what? At least there aren't a bunch of like very like random, super random like what what do you call them? Invisible walls. Like an actual That's thing that happens. Better. It just grabs you. Hi, Hello, Mrs. Puff. Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. The job is to stay out of my driving school. Oh, I'll even pay you for it. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. That's not her voice, is it? How to get it back? You're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Puff. Uh, is this correct? Where was I going? Oh. It. Bam. I think I just survived. Uh, yeah, that thing shoots stuff at me. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. I don't think Spongebob's underwear fits quite right. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh my god, no! I lived. So he has this stun attack. And it's important. So, I think you knock out the first robot, and the second one you stun. And for the third one you stun even. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Land next to it, and then grab it, and do this. There you go! Alright! Augers! I'm legit bad at this. I watched this in Spanish. Yeah, I watched SpongeBob in Swedish, you know? <laughs> so bright! So shiny! <laughs> yeah, but Andy's is hard. Yes! I don't know why, I guess undies are funny. I actually don't understand why. I think the joke is that SpongeBob's underwear are square and that's funny. Actually, I don't get it. I never got it. I never thought it was funny, but it's, it's here. Is it funny? <laughs> I just thought of it as like something private, but maybe it is funny. Oh, okay, so you can't hit them. That's doing it wrong. Okay. Yes! I did the thing. Now. One more. Okay. 
I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Undies. As in un and die. So they keep you alive. I hate that. <laughs> That's clever. That's way too clever. Too clever for my, my, my stream and my brain right now. There we go. Wow, he is so excited. So the spatulas use like entries? Or like keys? You need them to enter stuff? Just made that up. Well, it's pretty clever. Too clever. This is a hush tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. To sneak, sneak. Hang on. I. Press the shift key. I, I was. I was sneaking. It has to be SpongeBob, I think. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Progress, I think. Damage. <laughs> Don't punch me. <laughs> okay, we're at the point where you have to pay attention in combat. Hi, Pi. Good to see you. How are you doing? What the heck? What are you with those? You punch them? I think that's a SpongeBob thing. Have a good luck, Tiger. Uh oh. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. The music is slowly starting to wear down my brain. It's a little bit repetitive, isn't it? <laughs> Not the only Taiga fan. Like, Taiga as in... I don't know what Taiga actually even... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Eric. How are you? Oh my god, I blew up. I blew up. We're all blowing up. Impact. Hello, Milk. How are you doing? This is my first time playing this game, and it's it's pretty chill, but sometimes it gets surprisingly hard. And I am good at games, I promise you. This one, you throw it here, and you throw it here, and you get more pickups, but I still don't know what I'm supposed to use all the pickups for. That will kill me. You know what these remind me of? These little missiles here in the ground. You know what Half-Life? Half-Life 2? <laughs> Those are the biological weapons that they use in Half-Life 2. They're basically filled with headcrabs that turn the population into zombies. And they always just shoot that into cities for some reason. You see them kind of everywhere. Ravenholm is a good example. That's what it feels like, but this is before Half-Life. Uh, Half-Life 2. Before Half-Life 2. Bam! Bam! Oh, uh, sorry, man. She seems to be doing fine, though. Okay, can we um, please respect the rule of like not talking about other streamers? You know, unless I bring them up first. It's kind of like... It doesn't feel very good when you do that. Oh. Hop, 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 hop. Head crap, hop, head crab, cred, head crap, hop, souls. Bonk. Da, 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 da. Uh, camp buddy, you have to play the game? Oh, it's not a stream? 
Okay, I, I knew some other taiga. I got it. Well, I knew there are taigas, rather. Cam. Buddy. What's Cam Buddy? That's much better. Okay, so he can grab these. What do I do with this? Nice area, yeah. Like, really busy. What, what do I do with that? I just throw it? I don't really understand the fruits. <laughs> oh, don't look down, Patrick. Don't look down. Ah, I look. Well, like, look at this. This isn't just like a quick cash grab remaster where you just take the thing and they like, I don't know, throw it in like an emulator, render it in like HD and slap on some like AI optical textures. They actually spent a lot of effort on this. This is nice. Feels like a Sonic level. Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. <gasps> Me. Didn't they remaster Sonic Colors? I kind of need to get on that. It's just kind of an expensive game, but Sonic Colors is like one of the best Sonic games of all time. Jump up walls when the symbol appears. Okay, but Patrick can't? Oh, I see. Only SpongeBob. Why did we change into SpongeBob? You love sunny colors? Yeah, I love the music for it. I only played a little bit. It like, it doesn't, oh, there it is. It doesn't have story, really. It's just like a bunch of nice levels. The color schemes that remind me, yeah. Like highly saturated colors, lots of greens. Okay, thanks. There we go. Very sonic. Still have the Wii version. Me too, I have a bunch of Wii games. I, uh, some time ago, I kind of collected a bunch of Wii stuff because I thought I was going to play with someone at some point. So I have four sets of Wii controllers. Oh my god! He's dead. Four sets of Wii controllers with the nunchucks. A bunch of games and and all of that stuff. And, uh, you know. I played with people once. It was a good time though, we played Just Dance. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But, but still. Hey, go here. Same thing happened to me, but with board games. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of board Gosh, games. Everyone is trying to help out today. Thank you for the headpads before, by the way, Gandalf. Step quiet. Oh, there he is. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Yeah, animal Thanks, cruelty. Yeah, I, I, I used yeah, to have a bunch of friends. But I guess... Uh, not as many anymore. And I got a lot of board games to play with them. And... Uh, well, they've been laying on my shelf for years now. Played Sonic Colors with the GameCube controller. Oh. What the heck am I looking at? <laughs> Hey, I want those shower curtains. I need those. I love BB. It's good stuff. Hey man, how you doing? Sorry for oh oh. PB. <gasps> oh oh. Water. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I have a bunch of board games. I need to uh, I need to make me some uh, new friends to live around where I live. So I can like play games and stuff with them. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay, I'm doing something wrong. Can't just attack him. Big boy, he's a huge boy. He uh, murdered Spunk's boy. Did you know that uh, SpongeBob used to canonically be asexual? And it makes sense because a he is in a um, he's in a kids cartoon, and also he's a sponge. And I always thought that was cool. Ah! 
of Ace Representation. And now I punch him. Move up to Sweden to be my friend. I think moving to Sweden is is very cold here. Might be a mistake. I'm just saying. It's very cold and dark. I punch you. Slap him again. Okay. Like now. That's Brian. That would kill me. I say. Uh, thrusting myself down it. Heck. So yeah, I got I got a lot of good when I got a uh, pandemic. That's a really good one. I got. One I really like called Fun Employed. Some cards against humanity. Uh, let's see here. Super epic zombies. So like tiny epic zombies rather. I have the first edition of Mantis of Madness. Uh, what's 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 the spooky one? House on the Haunted Hill or something like that. Haunted Haunted Hill. Hill on Haunted House. Uh, wait, wait. I got a lot of games. I got a lot of board games. I used to have them on display, you know, because I thought it could be cool, like, if I have friends over, they can be like, Oh, hey, that board game, I know that one, you want to play it? And I'll be like, yeah, let's play the game! But I... Don't really have friends over there, do I? That's okay, I should, uh, it's, there's no pandemic anymore, at least not in Sweden. So I it should be safe to just go out. Sweden is expensive. Sweden is stupid expensive, like really expensive right now. It's getting way worse. Uh, do, 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 do. Inflation hit us like a truck. So it's getting expensive just to afford food. I tend to. Oh my god, this is really hard. What the heck? I, uh, I tend to, like, if I see there's a sale on something, I tend to, like, do a bunch of both. Practices and then I like don't like I shop a lot of stuff on sale and then I just make do with it for as long as po possible. House on the Hill is really cool. Yeah, it's really good. It's a spooky game with uh, like you can tell there is a bunch of like uh, influences from uh, what's his face Lovecraft, Lovecraftian influences like horror. It's a spooky game where you all are investigators and you just kind of try and try to figure out what happens. And you build the board as you go. So like you explore and that builds the board, which is really cool. Oh, oh wait, you can cheese this guy? Okay, I'm cheesing it. Finishing slap. One more, okay. Yeah, you can cheese this bad boy. I thought the jellyfish was wearing a Santa costume, but it was just, it was just king. Ow! It's him. It's King Christmas, also known as Santa. <laughs> uh, yeah, and you build a board, and then after around half of the time or something, like when the board is built basically, and a lot of stuff has been revealed, it's just like randomly. It's random, how it works. But then suddenly one or more people is the betrayer. Oh, yeah, it's called like Betrayal of like House on the Hill or something like that. The Betrayer. And then everyone goes, Betrayer! Well, you don't have to, but it's funny. Oh my god, dude, what? There you go. I am shockingly bad at this bad game. So, uh, the Betrayer, it's announced like, oh, this is the thing he's doing, this is his power, this is his role. And then it's everyone else against the Betrayer and the rules change. So there's like 50 different scenarios, 50 different betrayers or traitors or whatever. And and um, the board changes and the rule changes. And so the end game is like player, all the players versus someone else. And it, it gets really interesting actually. Come on. I'm trying to cheese it, but I feel that I'm getting punished for that. This isn't even like a hard game. Hop. How am I this bad at Spongebob? How do I stop lurking? Oh, there's no one lurk. It's just... I mean, I could add it. It doesn't really matter. It's just like, you can just say, hello, I'm back. Okay. Slap. Skill issue. So angry. 
Yeah, it's a really fun game. Uh, me and my friends used to play it a lot back in the days. And we kind of burned out on it. But we had so much fun with that game. And some of them got kind of tired of like the randomness, but I thought that was funny. Some of them feel like they have to like, it has to be like fair and they have to have like a fair chance of winning. But I found that when it comes to certain things, the fun part is how unfair it is. And that you really have to beat the odds and like, you know, main match a lot and strategize and like, you know, you're basically not supposed to win, but the possibility is still there. And that makes it fun. Or funny. Okay, you have to actually dodge the thing, then you can hurt him. Hello, Zaik. Hello. And hi, Amias. You love SpongeBob? That's pretty cool. I love SpongeBob too. At least old SpongeBob. I have a watch new. Time for my schedule 90 cup of tea. Have a nice one. How are you? I'm live. How are you though? Okay. I'm really bad at this game apparently. What the heck? How do I dodge that? Oh. So he's gonna do his, his attack. And apparently I don't know how to dodge it. Oh, now it works. I'll take it. Go down here after the first movie. There's more than one spot, but maybe. I, I watched that one. That one's funny. Wait, did he speak English? He just leaves. But man, you can stay. I just needed jelly. What? <laughs> what? You don't have to go. Why will you leave from here? I didn't mean to like disrupt the ecosystem. I just wanted some jelly so Squidward would stop hating me for once. Fresh like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. All right. Is there like a warp back or something? Then he left us. He blocked us. We moved our number. Is this a shortcut? I feel like this should be a shortcut. <laughs> I really just said I had a mount. Teleport box. Whoa! I feel like that's important. This lady is Jinx, but if Jinx was a fish. Oh! Mm -hmm. Hey there! It looks Larry. like you have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Kawabunga! So what are, what are you, like a surf, surfer lobster or something? Like what? Suffered you? Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Kawa hecking piece of dog crap. Do, 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 do. He's a Giga Chad lobster. Makes sense. Point. I did not intend to do that. Well, all right. It's a man. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Do you mean that? I can't. I can't tell irony with you. Like talking to you, Squidward. It's it's kind of like reading a text. Like you, you can't pick out irony. There's no nuance in text. Anything for my best friend, Squidward. Can I rub some on? SpongeBob. When you ask like that, what answer do you expect, really? Um, what if I just gave you this? Thanks. I did all of that for one spatula, dude. You deserve to be in pain. This is why I don't go outside, ever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're killing me. It's like draining my energy. It's <laughs> why would uh you know how people just like relate more to Squidward the older they get? That's one of those moments 
One of those moments, I guess. This is why I don't go inside ever. Wake me up when I care. <laughs> Alright. Let's go somewhere new. Let's give us a... Let's a vibe. More muscles than then dollhouse? Who the heck is that? Walkie doggy up my doctor spoon. Well, that's cool. Then you can cuddle your doggo. Oh, that looks spooky. Flying Dutchman or something like that, right? Do, 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 do. Ten. Fifteen. Five, okay. Fist jinx isn't real, you can't hurt fist jinx. Who wants to commit a sin? You touch grass? Well, that's good. You, you're supposed to do that. We spent a lot of time yesterday talking about this. Touching grass is good. You're supposed to go outside and Down be among the greens. Bikini bottom. Once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. Mm-hmm. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Ten, ten, ten raining. Y you know when something is like so unfunny, it just cause it like a physical reaction. It just, it just, it is, it, it, it just physically hurts you. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Uh. Why not? That's how I feel. <laughs> because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we yes, just do that emoji. That line? emoji is exactly how I feel. No, those fiends. SpongeBob. Okay, listen to the thing. I go here, right? Number one in the bikini bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Oh, thank you. Wait. Okay, I don't think I was paying attention. What am I looking at? Ah. Definitely wasn't paying attention. Hi, cuter. How's it going? Oh. It's just a dude. Do I prefer mountain or beach? I love the beach. Although sand is pain, you know, course and gets everywhere. I fear Gary. Mountains are beautiful too, of course. Ah, oh, sorry for punching you, my guy. There we go. Take that. You should learn to fear me as well. So, do I need 5,000 pickups, or is this just like a thing you can do with this game? I don't get it. Did we have the Yampasu? Like I don't remember. Come to South Africa. Nice and sunny, nice beaches, lions and stuff. Lions are kind of scary stuff. Maybe I'm just like Sometimes not good with big cats. Push, 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 push. Oh. Bam! Wahoo! He just rolls up like that. I guess he does not have a spine, so I guess it's cool, right? I feel like a new sponge. But it's so weird to see. No. Okay. Okay, start it, guys. Yeah, it's like Samus, but uh, more disturbing. How do you think Samus does that? How does that work? When she turns into the morph ball? Can I bounce? Can theoretically bounce. Okay. Oh, wait. Hmm. Interesting. What the heck do I do here? Bringing it around town. Bringing it round 
Okay, don't say that again, Sponge. SpongeBob? <laughs> yeah, um... Lions are just like these big creatures. They're kind of like lions. These like big monsters that can and will kill you if given the opportunity. And I don't know. Don't stop, stop saying that, SpongeBob. Shut up! What do you mean by that? <laughs> Why did you spam that? He's violent. That's a very tame way of wilding, but. He should stop saying that. It around town. Are you broken or something? Like a spring. Oh, here we go. SpongeBob! Seriously, stop! Like this door is locked from the what inside. Who would do such Bring a thing? Bring it in. Locked from the inside. I don't know. Is that just not what people do? Because it's their house. It was a long time ago since people didn't lock their doors anymore, my dude. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can actually use this stuff. Hang on, what is this? A bow? Let's just do it out, okay. You good, my dude? Spine damage, but other than that, he's good. Okay. Grab this. As long as you don't get out of the car at National Park, lions ain't gonna bother you. Yeah, that's true. Very beautiful creatures. Very scary big cats, though. Meow. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. That was I a been working out. deep meow. You have? Meow. Yeah, you look... Yeah! You look you look great, dude. I, I, I can tell. Yeah, I've been here in the gym. Look at your arms. Yeah, wow, results. You should... You should keep going every day to the gym, man. I think... Yeah, it's good. I, I applaud you. I cheer you on. Keep going, my dude. Yeah, yeah, good job. I can. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Or Carrie. 2 a.m. I need to sleep. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice sleep. Have a nice 2 a.m. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha. Uh -huh. There's mm -hmm. another golden spatula. I could really use that. Wow. Hydrate, thanks. Get Sandy to help me. Sandy. I can get through this. Is there a glitch? Oh, I see. I see oh, Texas symbols. Big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. I know the shape of Texas, the state there? of Texas, because of SpongeBob. There it is. That's the shape of Texas. That's Texas. That's a huge state, by the way. With a very nice, charming accent, and they wear really cool hats. Oh, I want hats more like that. Robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. SpongeBob bringing out his drone camera to figure out where is Sandy? Can he actually can he actually communicate with Gary or is it coincidence? I think he can communicate with him. It's like you can kinda of communicate with your cat. You can figure out with him, I mean. And they, cats often know what you mean, they just don't care. Oh, hey, there's Sandy. Oh. You don't chop. Yeah, like for real. Um, your cat knows that you're addressing them. And it knows what you're trying to say a lot of the time. They just don't care. Because they think that you're a stupid kitty. And they don't want to do as you say. Because they own your home. Goal oriented, that goal is food and territory, yeah. Da -da -da. How do I, uh. <laughs> what? She can pull a Rayman? Alright, sure, why not? Impassable, except for we're all underwater, but. That's. I don't know. Wink. 
Wait, can she like Sonic things? <gasps> hey, yo. Okay, she's kind of vicious. Oh, I have to redo all of that. Okay. <laughs> the vibes. <laughs> I'm feeling the vibes. My dog is very vibey. I like vibey. Wait. Why are you wearing spa? I, I don't. It's okay. You know what? You guys do you. It's, it's none of my business. That's it. Oh, blowy. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, so a rule. God, he looks so smug. <laughs> what the heck? He's so sussy. SpongeBob is so sussy. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh hi, TD. How's it going? Life energy store in the Andes. That's not what underwear is for. It's like a hygienic thing. That's what underwear is for. It's for hygiene. And you should change them every day. Oh, wait. Looks like a ghost from Mario. That is fair, actually. Sussy Sponge. Can I go down here? No. Sussy SpongeBob does kind of look like one of those boo ghosts, that's true. Sick, but overall okay. Oh, hey, feel better soon. Is the old flu or something? Uh, let's see. I think it's. Oh, it is this way. Are you kidding me? Oh, never mind. It's the other key, I think. Double jump and... Actually, what? what? How do I... Oh, it's shift. It's shift. There we go. Hygiene equals life. That is actually for real, too. Actually. Bam! Got it. Like games that allow you to play as multiple characters. Yeah, it's cool. It's fun. Bam. 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 Bless it. I don't know if I even need these pickups. There's so many of them. Like actual thousands of them. Oh, that's what that's for. Okay. Going full Rayman on these things. Okay. Whoa. Parkour. I punch you. Whoa, that's a strong chop, actually. Her, her chops. Kind of vicious. I always liked Sandy. She was always very sensible. Except for that time she was, um... What, what's the thing? When you're sleeping for the winter, she was like hibernating. And they were messing with her for some reason and she was horrifying and I didn't care for that, but... She always seemed like just a very sensible squirrel to me. Except for the odd choice of uh, choosing to live underneath the water. Goddamn and squirrels, amen. Oh, that's the exit too, we did it. Jump. Jump, dang it. Oh. You don't jump in there, you hit F. <laughs> hmm. And then I think, um... Well, I always kind of vibe with Spongebob. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> I don't really know who my other like favorite characters are. I guess I like SpongeBob because I was kind of a grumpy Sandy. kid. Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. TV reception, antenna. This is an old game. Hi, Fairy yes, Queen. Sir. That fair antenna is Tonight's TF than choice for me is green. Nom, I'm nom, not nom. really much of a jumper. I'm gonna go viral, corn. See ya. 
So, what's jumping got to do with Because the old antenna is up there. Okay, old antenna is up here. Also Ooh, spatula. That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. What? The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you because and SpongeBob do Texas to get across these gaps. Because Texas is humongous? All I can do is flex. Wanna see? <laughs> yeah, bro. I'll admire for a little bit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, great. Uh, so, what's <laughs> yeah. going to do with the old antenna? At least let him, you let him admire, let him flex for a bit, admire it a little bit, and have him, you know, feel like his time at the gym is worth, worth, worth it. Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new Everything one. Everything is bigger in Texas. Because the thing is, so I'm European, right? And here, I would say that everything is like a very... It's the size it needs Someone to be. Better make good use of all these. Everything is the size it needs to be. In America, everything is scaled up. Like, I'm not joking. Everything is bigger. And why that is, I... Heck if I know. And my teacher once explained to us, like, yeah, it, it, Americans like big things. They feel like they get a lot of value for it or something. So they just want things to be oversized. They'd rather pay more and have like really big things, like big trucks, big, uh, big sodas big, um, I don't know, big everyday household items. Okay. But everything just scale up there. And... Oh, it, it is sandy, okay. And, and, and so everything scale up as is, right? But then... Hey, yo! In Texas, everything is even bigger. So it's like, even for American, things are big in Texas. It's, it's super interesting. I don't know why. I, I'm just thinking it maybe it's a bit wasteful. Um, but other than that, I mean, I like to get a bang for my buck, so to speak. I like, like larger things, like when I buy them and stuff. Oh, I can just hold space. Are you kidding me? What's up, ma'am? What's up, Ray? Oh! That's a bomb. Oh my god, dude. She was... Just vibing! Who did she hurt? What did she do to deserve any of that? That's super cool. She was just hanging out on the rooftop. That's kind of sus, I guess. But she, did, she didn't deserve whatever happened to her. It's messed up. Yeah, take that. I'm getting dizzy just watching. Can buy enough food at a Costco for a month. Yeah, that's good though. Costco is good. Like, Costco actually, I, I know like, you can buy a lot of things that you would need and use a lot in bulk. So if you're like a household, like a family household or something, going to Costco will actually save you money. And I respect that. But like, a single person household isn't always going to benefit going to Costco because like how, how much stuff can you realistically eat want to go to America just for Costco at some point I've been to Costco it's so really cool they sell really large like they sell oversized TVs there they sell a bit of everything actually but they have the five dollar rotisserie chicken and it's actually good like, it's just a real grilled chicken. And it's good. And it's five dollars. And it's enough to feed a family, you know? And then you can use the rest of it to make chicken stock. It's like the most value out of all the value. You know? There we go. And of course, they, they actually lose money on selling the chicken. But it attracts people to their shop or to the store or whatever. That's why they do it. IKEA does the same. They sell cheap food, the cafeteria, uh, that they don't, like they go, they go net, uh, a net loss on it, but it attracts people to IKEA. So, and then, you know, people buy stuff while they're there and then they profit from that. And I think that's cool. That's like a cool thing about some of these, Otherwise questionable uh, stores and stuff. You can, uh, there we go. Let's see that lady. You, you can 
It's so obsessed to feed people. Don't eat chicken, I'm a pescatarian. What's a pescatarian? Went to McDonald's in America. Small meal was bigger and cheaper than the regular ones in my country. Really? I found that McDonald's is more expensive in America than it is in Sweden. The portions are larger, but you have to pay for them. But maybe that's because I like went to them in California. Honestly, don't buy things in San Francisco. Just don't. Like, why do I have to pay, t pay like $9 for like a Whopper? And then another four for some fries. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, Costco. I, I like Costco. Costco. There's actually one Costco in Sweden. They open up one. But it's kind of weird because they have like a membership thing. So you can't shop there unless you pay them for a membership. And that's, we don't do that in Scandinavia. It's kind of paying to, for, for the privilege of buying something is not really what we do here. So people are kind of iffy on that, but. Yeah, why are you doing that, Sandy? It's, uh, it's questionable at best. Hey, hey, Shadow. Five years ago in California. Don't know if it's more expensive. If it's my country's McDonald's, that's, that's expensive. Dirty. Could be your country. What country is it? It's a European. Things are expensive in Europe. You don't chop. Yeah. Do, 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 do. How's Pants Fab? It's fine. <laughs> it's pretty chill. It's very well made. It's a very well made remake. It's not a remaster, actually. It's a remake. Netherlands. Yeah, the Netherlands are expensive, are they not? Um, It's kind of a vibe. It's a beb game, but apparently it's a difficult beb game for me. Maybe I'm just bad at beb games or bad at games. Boyfriend started laugh at me when I was decided to go to an Ikea. They're nice! It's cheap food, lots of useful things, and honestly, Ikea is the reason most of us can afford furniture. Most of my furniture is used or Ikea. Actually, yes, most of my furniture is Ikea and some is used. I, I can't afford new furniture from not Ikea. It's not possible. He punched me through the pie. Hi, Lulu. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Hope you've been well. Game logic. Amen to that. Oh, you just beat them and then you run. Okay. Bam. Bam. One for luck. Netherlands is expensive, so you do your grocery shopping in Germany. Oh, maybe Germany is cheap outside of Berlin. I remember Berlin being kind of pricey. Whoa! And it hit. Okay. You're very good. I'm glad. Something cool going on. Hi, Nico. How you been? Happy Friday. Da, 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 da. Ikea is great. Still use the furniture you picked up there. Yeah, that's good. Like, the thing about Ikea is it, it is the cheap stuff. Like, it is low quality. But it is affordable. So, <sighs> that means you have to, like, be very, like, kind of careful with your furniture. Like, it's not... It's not going to last long unless you take good, good care of your furniture. But you know, a lot of people don't have any other choice. So you know, you just gotta buy the cheap furniture and then be very careful with it. Yes, amazing, I love it. It's fine. I mean, they steal their designs, which is kind of lame. But they have a lot of affordable things, like... Ew. can't believe I'm wearing Spongebob's underwear! And, uh, the lights in my house are really nice. I have colored lights from Ikea. 
and that was actually a really nice thing. Well, first and foremost, I got some better lights because my house or my apartment was kind of dark. And that's bad for mental health. So I wanted some brighter lights. Oh. There we go. Brighter lights. And also, I got colored ones because I needed a change. So now it's all gamer. Gamer light. Okay, that's better. Do you think it's Ikea when I went? A blue high and goosey rotta. Oh, the little rat and the Ikea shark. Yeah, what's the deal with the Ikea meme shark? Oh. Slides down to things. Do I, really have to carry Patrick's socks? I don't know what's with the socks. Okay, hang on. Oh, there we go. Bead. My boyfriend's mom showed me the rats because she knew I love rats. You love rats? Okay. I feel like... Wasn't it... It wasn't too long ago when people started coming around on rats and thinking of them not as, like, disgusting plague spreaders and little friends instead. Little friends with little hands and really large ghost tails have the shark they're so big have you seen the ikea shark in person they're oversized they're way too large so they're like a like like a child or small adult fresh like a spring breeze i love opening presents boy patrick will be glad that's her adorable that. bodies well i am incredibly allergic to them i cannot breathe when they're around so i don't know i'm not that big into them and also i don't like their tails they look Weird and fleshy. Are you ready? Huh? Okay. Is this the combat arena? Uh, oh! Jeez. New levels of combat arenas. Oh, okay. Err. Uh, uh. Bam, 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 bam. Oh. Uh, I don't know how SpongeBob is supposed to deal with that. Does he do his uh, butt scoot, butt, butt stomp? There we go. Okay. Uh, bam. Oh, okay, they still blow up in your face. You know what? After this log, I feel like I should uh, I, sh I should know that. <laughs> Ow! I'm like actually taking damage in this dev game. <laughs> cats are cute. Eh, yeah, cats are nice. They're a bit narcissistic, but they're nice. You saw that, right? SpongeBob got jibbed. He fell apart. That's way more horrifying than anything I could have expected. What the heck? Did I just... They just put that in the game. Oh, you can speedrun this? Okay. Hang on. You can't speedrun this totally. Just gotta do the stomp. The ground pound or whatever you call it. No. I feel like a new sponge. Bam. Yeah, look, it's like speedrunning friendly. You get a little chance to like jump on top of it so you can just like attack it before it even spawns something. That's cool. Okay, SpongeBob just like falls apart breeze. when he dies. That's disturbing actually. Messed up. Oh, this feels like a game that people would speedrun. I know people love their like platformers for speedrunning. I guess they just make good speedrunning games because there's always some weird way of breaking in. And people love movement in platformers a lot. Sad if I can like hop around and try to break like it. Okay, so you gotta do this and bam. Oh, what is that? It's one of the big boys! Okay, 
Uh, I think I know what to do. That one, you can't do that. I think I need to lure the missile into... Nope. Oh! Okay, it's getting intense. It's health up here. Good. Good. Lord. This should really not be this difficult. This no. No. I beat it. I have been banked on by Bev Give. There is a dedicated speedrun community for this game I bet. It has that energy. Okay, let's see where's the thing over here. Bam. Oh, stupid sponge scheme. Make me pay attention and stuff. It's the worst. Oh, up there, okay. I love your controller tracking and model. Thank you. I'm glad. It's it's an asset that works very well for me. Very happy for it. Do you consider learning speedruns? Yes, but um I don't know what, maybe Minecraft? It seems like a good time. Even though, I don't know. I heard different things about the speedrunning community, but I don't have to take part in it. Maybe there's like a Scooby-Doo game that some people speedrun that seems cool. There's a bunch of cool games that seem fun, but I think Minecraft could be really fun to speedrun. I feel like there's a lot of depth to Minecraft speedrunning. Lots of RNG though, depending on like kind of what what sort, I guess, if you do. Future world record holder. I don't know about that one, fam. Mario 64 seems like a very fun and satisfying game to speed on. But um, it's also like people are disturbingly good at it. GoldenEye seems like a really, really fun game to speed on as well. Like, I feel like a lot of retro games seems like really good. Good games to speed on. Didn't expect this fun like game sponge. to be so intense. Yeah. Same. Wait, what I do with this? It's just to get up. Oh, sock. No, no, no. Oh, man. You can't cancel that animation. Once you're in it, you're in it. This game keeps it keeps fluctuating from being like haha SpongeBob Bev game and like super punishing. It's great. <laughs> I did did do it. I did go and do it. All right, my dude. Hey there, SpongeBob. What's up? Take me out of here. Did I do the thing? Oh, water? Water. Everyone drink water. <laughs> oh, he does that when he's out of bounds and he starts crawling and stuff and seems scared. Is this where I was supposed to go in? I don't remember. Hello, Atla Duggo. Welcome. How's it going? Oh. This is my first time playing this game and I'm a little tiny bit confused. But it's a nice game. It's more fun than I expected it to be. The Sea Needle. Is this like... Uh, what's that Seattle thing called? Is it called a Space Needle? Isn't that what that is? I think it's Seattle. Oh. What a dump. That looks very dangerous. That child should not be in here. Space Needle? Hmm. Yeah, uh, I've seen it. It's like iconic, right? I don't know that much about Seattle, but I know that during the 90s they had a legendary music scene. Uh, there you are, boy. 
Someone's broken the sea needle. You don't say. The legendary music That's scene. The whose sea influences is are still being felt today. Corner. Grunge came from there. Oh, yes. Grunge. It's yes, just, it is. They call it the so Seattle sound. Is that there are tiki's and shiny objects and just outside the window. The music scene in Seattle, spearheaded by Nirvana, almost overnight just completely Mr. made Al, the um, money at a time like this? super polished, overproduced, like super Please, clean, just perfect pop and uh, money. rock money. music that was popular at the money. time. Just absolutely just here, destroyed boy. it. You know that I mean, you golden spatulas if I'm kind of waiting for some movement to do that with pop music now because pop music deal. right now is so like overproduced and clean and bleh. Bleh. Not all of it, but a lot of it is bleh. Like if I if I hear another over compressed singer sing over the exact same beat or similar type of beat as everyone else, I will scream. Like I, I have I have a physical reaction to generic pop. Oh. Wow. Everyone looks like Sorry, lady. Seem to enjoy it. Does the shoulder snail have a name? Yes, his name is Snailton. Actually, um, there's actually a 3D model. I cannot I can show you that. I've been fighting Unity, and it's what I've been working on a lot behind the scenes, pretty much all of it, except for editing the YouTube things. I've been to somehow make my, no, my VR and my 3D stuff work. And it's incredibly tedious and it's really hard and everything's just a nightmare. But with some help from my friend Lily Pup, which is great. Lily underscore Pup, I am sure, is the name. She knows that stuff. She knows Blender. She helped me uh, figure it out. So I managed to also attach the snail to my 3D model shoulder. Great things are coming. I just hope it's sooner rather than later. Why are you kidding me? No! My At least it didn't fall apart. Oh, it's in. I don't think he needs a hand. Uh, uh, what do? Hang on, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, I grab a screenshot somewhere. I haven't revealed my 3D model yet for various reasons. Mainly because, um, Honestly, I kind of, I really want to do a full body tracking reveal, but there has been a few little sneak peeks and stuff. But I wanted you to, like, I want to do the big reveal with my, my body language and all of that. And just be able to be like full on, hey, oh, it's your boy, look, I can move. I can sing. Uh, but, um, but yeah. Gotta, gotta make it happen first. Let's see here. I'm going to have a solution. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I just, I was just testing the model out. And I was testing wow. it. And, oh. Ayo. Hey, she sees you. Lost souls are coming for you. Oh, yeah, bye. Hello. <laughs> what does that mean? Torkan the Hunter, DSP Blue. Hello. What were you guys up to? Welcome. Let me come say hi. I was about to uh, show a little thing anyway. Well, hello, hello. My name is Jan. I'm a comfy boy from uh, the land of uh, Sweden. And I'm a preschool teacher. How's it going? Uh, we were playing SpongeBob. The SpongeBob uh, remake game. It's pretty good. It does, uh, it does smoothen out my brain though. I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling the smooth brain coming on. Mm -hmm. Welcome. <laughs> What were you up to, Shiza? Here, I was, I was gonna show you. It's really crusty though, because it's like a... It looks better, it looks better than what it is, but this is the one, this is what I have. So let me show you. I was just um, talking about how I've been working uh, my butt off on a 3D model and making everything work and stuff. And uh, let's see here if I can do this. That's the wrong thing. There you go. So here's a little peek, I guess. You've seen some sneak peeks of it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, very accurate. Very, very accurate. And that's, there's the snail. I promise you it looks really good in person or in VR. It, 
on the thing, it looks good. The screen cap, it looks kind of stanky, but, well, yeah, he's stuck there. And he, he like, wobbles around, too. It's really adorable. When you move around, it goes... <laughs> it's cute. Ooh, Evil Within. I have that game. I bought it a really long time ago. And I still haven't played it, but I really want to. I heard it's really good. Did you enjoy it? But yeah, you know. <laughs> See the model is real. I actually have, um... Um, there are some little 3D sneak peeks here and there. A bunch of them are on Patreon. I show little flashes of it and stuff. Looks so good, thank you. Mm. And I have gotten a VR full body tracking kit. Now, the problem is my hip tracker glitches a lot. And I thought I was going to get a hold of some other trackers, but I couldn't. Uh, so that's a bummer. And then I thought I was gonna get a hold of some others, but they were sold out apparently. So, no. So now, uh, we gotta figure out what to do. But yeah, um, coming up. Let's see here, yeah, so I wanted to show you that. Well, welcome readers, hope you'll enjoy it here. Mm. I am very happy about the uh, model. Oh wait, what am I doing? I did something. Oh, that was the map? I feel proud of your hard work and self. Thank you. Well, I've been working really hard, but I haven't gotten that much progress. There's been a lot of L's, like tons of them. And it's very demoralizing. So what I decided to do is to chill a little, a little bit more. Stress a little bit more. <sighs> and not burn myself out, basically. I mean... It's okay when like one thing goes wrong, but when all of them goes wrong at the same time, you tend to get very tired. I'm very excited to show this stuff, like a new but uh, I gotta, I've, I've gotta focus on one and just uh, not work myself down to the ground. Okay, I think it's this way maybe. The new song is coming along. Um, I have commissioned like a video for it, and it's almost finished mixing. So only a few more things to do. The video is is coming. The new song is called World of Hurt, actually, and uh, this it's it's really dark. <laughs> How do I? Is it here? You're in water, SpongeBob. It's all in your head, man. Um, yeah, World of Hurt, and um, I was experimenting with like a spooky soundscape, and I was just kind of feeling it. And then I, I just used that to make a song about getting a lot of frustrations out of me. I did that with my last song too. Uh, it's it's a good thing you can do with music. You can make yourself feel better by putting the bad things into a song and then they're out of your body. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited to reveal it. I also have a lot of different songs that are kind of finished as. And Ultimate Veggie Experience! Ultimate Experience. You're not supposed to be excited about that. That You can permanently injure yourself and injure things that you will miss SpongeBob, but I guess that's just the way we do it here, huh? Dive. Do, 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 do. It shines! Wamba Combo! Looks SpongeBob as a butt. That's a funny. Wait to hear it. Thanks. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. It's just Take that. there are some things in the mix that take some tinkering. That's actually what I'm going to be doing after stream today. Is trying to finish up the song or make it like 90% finished. I was going to do a lot of different things with it, but I realized I just do not have the time. And honestly, it's just time to release a song. Uh, and I have a collab. Coming up, not gonna tell you which ones yet. How do I lock this? I'm not gonna tell you which one yet. Because it's um it's not certain that we'll finish it. But I'm excited for it. Messing with Texas. Is that a southern accent? Or is she making fun? I don't know. Glad you like my music. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Uh, none of the songs that I've ever released have been finished. But sometimes you just have to be like, all right, you know what, let's release it. I don't have the time to finish all of the songs the way I want them to. I don't know how to uh, unlock the last one here. So I just kind of finish them. Or rather just say, okay, it's just finished is now. And, and go. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of which, I'm tired. I told myself to do shortest stream today. <laughs> so I will actually have time to work on the song and not to tire myself out, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully it will be done next week. And then I'll be able to do like a little reveal party. A little reveal stream, that'd be nice. And um, I was aiming to finish my 3D model this week um, couldn't happen but maybe next week hmm. so you know it's, it's it's finally happening it's finally coming together and I'm very happy about that all right so thank you everybody I appreciate you very much thank you for coming let's raid someone and have a lovely wonderful Friday now uh, if this is your first time here and you haven't you know followed or have it followed for some other reason, consider doing that if you like the vibe. And join our Patreon community, because it's very chill and comfy. And uh, yeah, I don't know. One thing you could do if you want to help out, keep the stream alive, is to support me on Patreon. You get a lot of things in return for it, a lot of rewards. And we also have a community patron hangout. We're going to play Jackbox game together. They're super fun. Uh, at 5 p.m. my time on Sunday. So that's soon. We'll see you then. Let's see here. Let's go raid. Uh, keeping an eye out. Maybe there's someone I was... Oh, thank you for the video, Smithy. Okay, okay, okay. I have one. This person is very comfy, or very cute. Hey CJ, and bye. Hang on. Uh, let's, let me just, uh, there we go. Someone I was kind of hanging out at yesterday. Oh, mature audience is on, all right, cool. Well, yes, please be good to Emmy. Emmy is very cute. Um, has, has a very nice positive vibe that I really like, so. And then, uh, Esther Mama. This is someone I only talk to like once, real briefly. So please leave a good impression. And uh, let's just do a happy Friday, Emmy and Mama. Uh, I think that's a chill thing to do. So please, you know, I don't know, be good to them. Mm, and get to yourself or I will come to your house and I'm going to carefully explain to you what a bad idea it is for you to talk to yourself like that and I'm going to go into your brain I'm going to jank out all of the bad things and it will be very weird and painful so don't let me do that <laughs> okay please forget to end me mystery night is for it yeah, yeah, claim your snails now. You have uh, 20 seconds to do it if you haven't gotten your daily snails. And thank you for dealing with the scuff as of late. Uh, next stream is Sunday. We're doing weird horror games, including a SpongeBob horror game. <laughs> All right, appreciate you. Oh, yeah, me. Where does my. Where does my.